Hey guys, how are you doing? Hopefully you're having a great day. We're starting out our morning at the Sale parking lot. I just came back from Sale. Um, I came in there, or I went in there for one thing. Some 20 pound fluorocarbon. And of course, I walked out with another $30 worth of lures. Let me show you guys quickly what I got. I got some 3 yacht flipping hooks. We got some pit bulls. I got two of these pit bulls. Uh, they're on sale, and I do really, really well in these crankbaits, actually. And we got some hooks. These are the hooks that I use um, for my rhythm waves most of the time. They're the Mustad Ultra Point, like, football head hooks. They're two on, I believe, and one-fourth ounce. So I got a couple packs of these as well because I lose these like crazy. They don't have a weed guard or anything like that. But, yeah, that's how we started the morning. Got a couple goodies. It's a uh, bass opener up north this weekend. So I'm heading, as you guys can see, my car is absolutely full. We're heading up there right now. That's where my boat is. Um, we're going to, you know, get all my rods and reels ready today, do some errands, um, put the boat in, and then tomorrow morning, it's bass opener <laughs> on my home lake. And I am pretty, pretty damn excited. So let's go. Oh man, <laughs> we have a lot of unpacking to do. We have my to-go bag, which I have to organize a little bit, change a couple things out. This has all of my tackle that goes in the boat. This is a bunch of clothes, and we have two more boxes there with tackle, and all of these lovely rods. So we got a little bit to do before bass opener tomorrow. I also have a couple errands to run. If you guys watched my jig unboxing video a couple weeks back, or I guess two weeks back now, I had a jig unboxing and I had a giveaway in that video and it turns out when I randomly drew the winner, the winner actually lives around here so uh, instead of shipping it to him I'm gonna go drop it off and meet him and all that kind of stuff so I have that to do today as well. We have some reels to re-spool and we have to drop the boat in number one and number two go figure out where the bass are i'm going to take a quick stroll around the lake i'm not going to fish obviously because bass don't open till until tomorrow but i want to go have a look see if i can see any of the fish on beds because last time i was here they haven't even really you know stuck onto the beds or anything like that so i want to go have a look what's going on on the lake um you know if the poachers haven't picked off any of the fish off beds they'll be on beds still if they have then they're going to be off the beds you know, on the on the first transition point in my, I, I think at least, I don't know. We'll see. First of all, we have to organize the boat. I have to have some lunch, and we gotta we gotta figure some stuff out. talk about this here in a in a quick second but as you guys can see we have the rods in we have the tackle that's going to go in we have one more box that's going to also come in or tackle that's inside the box is going to come in all right so this may be my new way of storing hard big swim baits i guess you could say so i've always had them in a flambeau, let me show you actually. So I've always had them in this box right here. This is a flambeau deep waterproof box. I really like it. Um, it's waterproof, which is the biggest thing for me, especially for big swim baits and their expensive hardware. I don't want it to rust. Um, as you can see, I took all of the hard swim baits out and now I have them all in this little baggie right here, which I kind of like, um, look at that. The biggest advantage, in my opinion, is organization. Um, and also, all the tails stay straight, which is also a big thing for swim baits because um, it just determines the whole action of the tail. No tail, you're not, you're not gonna go. It's not gonna glide properly and all that stuff. So, I'm gonna be trying this tackle system out. We're gonna see if I like it a lot more than the actual flambeau box. 
The biggest drawback I think will be that it's not waterproof. Um, but I'll give I'll give it a go and see as you guys can say as you guys can see it's a Cabela's brand I got a Cabela's I think it was like seventeen dollars Canadian or so so it's not that bad um, so I'm gonna be giving this a go for the next couple of weeks I honestly think I'm gonna stay with it and I'll just be keeping my bigger soft plastics in this box here um, I have a couple of spark shads couple of the uh, freestyle mag drafts as well. And once I rig them, I'm not going to be putting them back in their shell casing. I'm just going to put them in here so I don't have to, you know, unrig and re-rig all the time. As you guys can see, I have, like, wire, uh, wire and crimps to make, to make leaders or to make uh, trailer hooks such as that in here as well. So the soft plastics are going to stay in here, but for the hard baits, I think I'm going to like that bag a lot more. So, rods all rigged up. We have ourselves a popper, a perfect jig, vibration jig in white and chartreuse, money. We have that swim bait tied on. We have a jig on this rod. We have a big swim bait uh, combo that will have a tiny clash on or a glide bait on. And we have a tube. This is in a perch color, you guys probably can't see very well. I did very well on a tube last weekend. So I have to have a tube tied on now. There she is. All loaded up, ready to go. Let's go launch her. It's pretty windy out, so we're not gonna be able to see any beds or anything like that, but I still wanna go have a look and of course get the boat on the dock. So quick one, two, drop her off at the, at the dock run back and get my get my car then we can fiddle around on the lake as you see we're on the lake i brought my car back and now it's time to go explore a little bit i don't know we'll see i'm going to quickly go scoop around though see if i can mark a couple fish out deep maybe they did push off a lot more than i i think they have but i just want to look around a little bit we're going to come back have some dinner and then we're going to drop off uh, the goodies to the uh, to the jig winner. There's still beds out, obviously, but I don't see any fish on them, and the grass looks pretty good, so I think that's going to be the deal for tomorrow. The weird thing is, though, the water temperature hasn't changed in two weeks. I'm sure it's gone up and down and all that kind of stuff, but in the end, it hasn't changed at all. Which is kind of weird. It's time to drop off the goodies. The odds of the winner living near me, first of all, and second of all, having the time to drop it off. It's gonna be pretty cool. So I can't figure out which house it is. And I feel weird driving around in the snow small neighborhood in circles. <laughs> but they're all like number four. All these houses are number four. I'm looking for number seven. Eight was over there. There's a six, like a couple houses down. This one's also six. There's like two fours across from each other. Like, I don't even know, dude. I can't find this house. You know what? I'm just gonna guess a house and ring the doorbell. And when it's not him, that'll be awkward, but I'm not sitting around here all day. Let's guess a house, guys. We're gonna guess a house. There's a six here and there's an eight across the street, so. We'll, we'll put the, we'll, I'll pick the one that I think is supposed to be seven. <laughs> so that was his house. <laughs> there we go. And uh, now we're heading home and it's eight o'clock and I'm going to sleep, guys. I am pooped. I am so pooped. Oh, wow, that sun's bright. Wow. I am so pooped. I'm ready to go to sleep. I'm going to get up early tomorrow. It's supposed to be very, very windy tomorrow, even in the morning. But um, either way, we're going to fish for a couple hours. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick vlog. Other than that, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little vlog, little update on what's going on. Pretty much just fishing and work now. And other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one.